video, we are unboxing the August Lush kitchen subscription box. And you guys, today's video might be kind of wacky. It might be kind of experimental. Let's see how much of this I can smell. Um, and if you guys are playing bingo at home with like the five fun phrases that I say like once every video lately, in case you guys don't know, I have been super sick for the entire month of August. But luckily, I feel like today is like the first day that I really feel like much, much better. I almost feel like 100% today. But one thing that I have I've been sharing with you guys is unfortunately the worst part is my sense of taste and smell has been really thrown off. I would say I'm already like much better than I was like last week because like two weeks ago you guys I couldn't smell anything. I'm talking like perfume bottle right up to my nose nothing. I couldn't taste anything. I couldn't smell anything. Um, but now, so thankfully, I am really regaining my sense of taste. Some things still taste a little bit off, but it's getting so much better from like where I like literally was just chewing 100% tasteless food. But my sense of smell has still been really distorted. There are some things like for instance, oh my God, I actually have one in here. I have one of these like in nearly every room of the house, but this like Bath and Body Works candle that's like blue raspberry snow cone. This smells exactly like it used to to me, but then you guys, I will get like my favorite perfume, my favorite lifetime perfume I've been wearing my whole life. Classic Estee in a quilted bottle that smells so bad to me right now. And you guys, that was like my comfort scent. That is like the same that like if I'm really like having a panic attack or something and I need to calm down um like that is something I use to like help make me feel better and right now it smells horrible most of my perfume does not smell good to me <laughs> right now which definitely sucks but I did start using some of my favorite body washes and some of my lush products I can't say that they 100% smell like they used to like for instance, I was just like bathing yesterday with my favorite little like rock star rabbit soap. I don't know what it's really called, but it's this product. And that smelled really good to me. You guys, what is this tea vlog? Oh my God. Um, but I've really been enjoying the comments. I don't know if enjoying is the right word, um, but it's definitely like helped to calm my nerves and make me feel better. Uh, those of you guys who have been sharing your experiences with me in the comments down below, I got one that stood out to me yesterday um where somebody said it took them seven months to enjoy the flavor of cheese it's again it's it's been kind of weird you guys let's just see what this is gonna be so i'm really hoping that i'm gonna enjoy the scent of some of these products but i'll definitely like tell you guys like exactly what the scent notes are supposed to be i can say i can smell like something coming off of the box that smells a little minty to me. I mean, I feel like I just have fun like unboxing this stuff with you guys and telling y'all my interpretation of the scents anyway, because there's so many times that I get it like literally just wrong. <laughs> like it's supposed to be something else entirely anyway. Um, oh, it smells kind of earthy. Oh, okay. It does say, so this is actually like a larger square. Normally it's like a little like cardboard card. Um, but it does say time for amazement. So I feel good that I can like smell mint. Experience firsthand the invigorating power of mint. Stimulate your body and mind with nature's greatest pick me up. Summer is in full swing and there's no better way to cool off than with fresh peppermint and icy menthol crystals. I love love products like that. I feel like I love products like that, oddly enough, all year long. Like, you know, December, time for an icy crystal menthol bath. Ah, I always like to call these wishes. <gasps> Make a wish. <gasps> um, all right. First thing, this kind of looks like planet Earth. Look at that. We have an Earth bath bomb. I'm gonna scan the card in a minute. I'm just gonna like give you guys some quick first impressions. If you guys have watched these videos, which I think it's almost been a year, I'm pretty sure October was the first Lush Kitchen subscription box and I'm pretty sure that's the first time I did an unboxing. Um, ooh, it does smell good. It smells, it definitely smells minty. Like I like what I'm smelling and I guess that's all that matters. Once again, it has that really like earthy scent to it, which that's another product that I was recently able to use and love the grass 
shower gel. I kind of can't get over how much I love that product and that started smelling good to me as well. Oh my god, what is this? You guys, I think, <laughs> I think this melted a little bit, but to be fair, like yesterday it was 109 degrees. On first glance, doesn't this kind of look like a dish, like a Brillo pad, you know what I mean? Ooh, oh my God. Wait, this smells really similar to me to one of my favorite Lush products called Outback Mate. And I'm not sure if I'm saying that because the Outback Mate also has like spearmint or something in it, I believe. Um, I'm gonna find out what this is before I fully wedge it out of this little sack here. Ew, what is this? <gasps> this looks like a watermelon. Why did I literally almost bite this? You guys, this falls under the definite category of it looks like it would be so satisfying to bite into, but I know I shouldn't do it. Oh, this is like extremely, maybe this is like the menthol and not just the mint. And I'm not sure if I can smell like a fruity kind of scent in here or if it's just my brain playing a trick on me where I'm like, it looks like a fruit, therefore it should kind of smell like fruit. This is like the perfect month for me to get like all mint items um, because I definitely can smell the mint. Ooh, freeze, kitchen exclusive shower gel. Reach for revival with a blast of invigorating peppermint to wake you up and cool you down. This looks beautiful. Look at that. Does that help show you guys? Oh, that does it. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I mean, I feel like I'm just picking up everything and being like, it smells like mint, but I like it. That's definitely a huge. You guys, I feel like I should bring in one of the other um, kitchen exclusive body washes because I feel like it almost looks like they, I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm holding an invisible bottle here. Um, but I feel like literally the size of the kitchen exclusive shower gels have doubled. That would be honestly amazing. Um, my favorite Lush products lately for the past couple of months has been the shower gels and the soaps. Um, and so there are so many of the kitchen exclusive shower gels that I use and then I run out of. And then because they're in these subscription boxes, you can't go repurchase them. So it would be amazing if this is gonna be like the size of the kitchen exclusive shower gels from now on. And then is this the soap? Yes. Um, as I was throwing this informative thing off to the side, um, I did see that there was gonna be a bar of soap on there and I'm so excited because I'm actually down to just one Lush soap right now, which is actually my SpongeBob bar that I've been saving, but I just finished using my little Rockstar Rabbit yesterday. So I needed a new Lush soap. I don't know why this kind of smells almost like mint and lemon to me. Once again, my brain is literally seeing like a visual dupe for Outback Mate. I'm literally gonna have to include a photo here so you guys can see. <laughs> Maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but I swear, ooh, I love like when they have the Lush logo on the side of the soap. Yeah, I don't know if I'm just like thinking so much of that soap and I'm like, mm, it's the same thing. This is maybe the least amount of products that we've gotten in a Lush kitchen box. Do we normally get more than five products? I don't know, but um, maybe it's because more expensive ingredients are being used. That's just, that's a speculation. Maybe it's because this is basically the size of two products. So it's almost like you're getting another product. I don't know. You guys, I wish they would have done a mint perfume. I'm always wishing for the perfumes and the candles. Those are always hands down my favorite Lush items uh, to get in the kitchen subscription boxes because I feel like they're so rare. So I'm gonna scan the QR code and then we're gonna come back and find out the names and the ingredients and the and the proper smells together. I always have to show you guys the little like how it's made segment. I love that they started doing that probably for the past like five or six kitchen boxes. Honestly, it's so fun to scan the little thing and like actually see them making these products. Um, so while I was like doing the little screen recording, I was reading more information Lush uses anywhere from three to six tons of peppermint every year 
They ethically source it. Peppermint can be both refreshing and soothing and has been known to have antibacterial properties. That's what I need right now. Um, so the first thing is a community pick. So this means this was an item that was voted on by Kitchen Box subscribers. We already read the little label, but the additional information that I got from here is it has fresh sea water and fine sea salt. That's a, that's like amazing. Um, I did not know, is this gonna sound silly? I did not know that like sea salt could be in like liquid kind of stuff like this. I always thought when there was like sea salt present that it was gonna be kind of like grainy, like maybe a body scrub or something. I don't know. I've never heard of seawater, but oh my God, this is like a pirate experience, you guys. I'm trying to find a new, really good sea salt spray for my hair. So if you guys have any good suggestions of like your favorite brands or anything, you guys, I miss that so much. And oh my God, I bet my hair looks so crispy today. You guys, I just made like such a goofy mistake. I was like trying to fix my sassy bun before I filmed this video. And literally I just sprayed volumizing like texture spray instead of dry shampoo. So now what is this? I have to go wash my hair like immediately once I'm done filming this. But this is meant to be a planet. This was another voted on community pick. It's called World Peace, but spelled like a piece of a piece of a piece of puzzle. Soak in mind clearing peppermint, grounding cypress, and calming pine oil. I think that this is the first thing I picked up and sniffed and said it smelled kind of earthy to me. So I'm glad to hear it's meant to be grounding because I feel like whenever brands like say grounding, they mean like from the ground, like it has an earthy smell. I don't know. Am I just making that up? Up next is Mellow Mint. This was also a community pick. It says sink into this double dose of icy invigoration with spearmint and peppermint bubbles to leave you feeling revived and refreshed. So I guess they just put it in a cute watermelon shape. Let me know if this is like playing tricks on your brain. Like, do you think, like for some reason when I picked this up, I thought of like, what is it called? The mint? Oh my gosh, this is gonna drive me crazy. But you know, you buy it in like the cube. It's maybe like dentine ice or something, but they'll have like lemonade and mint or like grape and mint. I was kind of thinking it was gonna be like a fruit mint fusion, but I don't know. I mean, it looks cute. It smells great. Up next is the soap, which is also a community pick. So this is called Ice Blue and it says awaken your senses and get a cool start to the day with fresh peppermint, uplifting sweet wild orange and fine sea salt to soften skin. See, that's what I mean. I thought like, oh, sea salt on the top. It's like a little bit more exfoliating um, and like with a grit to it and I'm trying to smell again and see if I can identify orange. I feel like for me right now, mint is such a strong scent that I'm pretty much just picking that up and I'm not really like getting any of the more hidden notes. Um, and then this is the kitchen exclusive. And I love when they do this every time, like when they send this thing and there's like, surprise, but I like the fact that it is supposed to really look like a sponge. It's called Dirty. Oh my God. So I wonder if this is supposed to smell like the Dirty line from Lush, which is one of my favorite. I'm, I'm talking about that all the time. Like I always say Karma is like pretty much my favorite, like Lush, like fragrance family. You can get like lotion, um, the solid shampoo. They have Karma perfume. So you can really like layer and they have that with Dirty as well. So this is a naked shower scrub. I'm wondering if they do still do that. I feel like I'm like a little bit less familiar with those products, but a couple of years ago, they started doing um, packaging free versions of a lot of their products. So they would do like a solid soap or um, like a solid, was it a bath wash or something? I don't know shower gel. Maybe this would be a product that would use to come in a pot or something. I'm going to try and see if I can just get it 
out of here. Ooh, okay, yeah, that feels so interesting. I'm glad I like took it out of the package. So the bottom does kind of have like a melt in your hands feeling to it, but then this does feel very gritty, like an exfoliant. So that is really fascinating. I'm excited to see uh, what it's gonna do when I mix it with water. It says the green half of this pseudo sponge is packed with sugar and I am gonna let a robot sound this word out and butter for a thoroughly good scrub while the cheery yellow side has fine ground rice, sunflower oil, and wax for soft, smooth skin. I have to say this was a perfect box for me to get this month because I love mint bath and shower products and mint is definitely something I can smell. And honestly, I felt like really sad when I was like super sick at the beginning of the month because normally like the Lush Kitchen boxes come really early and I literally thought about that and I was like oh man I was like that's gonna like suck so bad because I literally just thought like I'm not even gonna be able to like do these kind of videos anymore which I do look forward to this every single month you guys like I do miss like the world of like subscription boxes and it is always a super fun experience because I feel like I say this every single time but I feel like one of the things that the Lush Kitchen Box is so good at is they do always pick like really good seasonal like you always feel like it's like perfect for the season you know what I mean like I do feel like with the temperature being so hot and you just feel sweaty all the time that like I ice I almost said ice mint <laughs> that mint is like a really great thing to have right now in the shower and a couple months ago like when it was the beginning of summer we got like really fruit scented products so just if it's like holiday theme or month by month I feel like they get like what is it the the essence of the month like perfectly good so i don't know you guys uh but yeah i felt really sad when i was like oh my god i'm not gonna be able to smell like any of my lush stuff anymore but i i feel like i'm doing much better i can smell the mint and i like it thank you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be hit the button down below subscribe become a member of the swamp family and give an alligator twings i love you guys so so much and i'll be back again very very soon Bye!